Hey everyone, this is Renee, and today on iMore, we're taking a look at iOS 6 Beta 3, the Retina iPad Mini, Office 2013, and the new Yahoo Queen. It's July 16, 2012, and this is iMore Today. The big news for today is that iOS 6 Beta 2 is transitioning the last remnants of the old, broken MobileMe service to the new, hot iCloud. Now don't panic, none of your me.com email is going to get lost. Me.com will just become an alias of iCloud.com. No one at Apple is reaching into your email box and taking away your stuff. They are, however, replacing a two-character domain name with a six-character domain name. So I'm sure by this time tomorrow, we'll all be subjected to a dozen articles saying Apple is making email 300% tougher to type on the iPhone. The present iPad includes a tremendous 2048 by 1536 pixel retina display. Is Apple considering shrinking that down and trying to jam that into an iPad mini at $200? Probably not. Google is selling the Nexus 7 at pretty much break even, and Apple does not get out of bed in the morning for under 30% margin. Is lack of retina a deal breaker for you, or just a cheap excuse to upgrade to the iPad mini too? Sorry, the new iPad mini in 2013. Microsoft held a press conference today to announce Office 2013. No news was no news for us, however, because just like the Surface came with no information about battery life or pricing, Office 2013 came with no word about the Mac or iOS versions. But it remains curious that Microsoft still hasn't made a move to bring one of their few remaining old world cash cows to the hottest new product in computing. Bomber and company may well believe that keeping Office 2013 exclusive to Surface by Microsoft for Windows RT and Surface by Microsoft for Windows 8 Pro will give them an edge in the tablet wars. But let's be frank for a moment. Right now, the tablet wars are the cinematic equivalent of a couple of drunken Chitauri trying to wrestle the Hulk. For years now, Microsoft has been content enough to ship Office on Mac, even if it was obviously in retaliation for iTunes on Windows. They should ship Office for iPad as well. In a surprise move today, Google employee number 20, Marissa Mayer, left to become Yahoo CEO number 20 or something like that. Seriously, when's the last time you raved or even ranted about a hot new Yahoo product on your iPhone or iPad? About the only thing left, if recent history is any indicator, is that Mayer will start leaking stories to the Wall Street Journal about secretly poaching Apple engineers and gobbling up Bay Area design firms, all in a hush-hush skunkworks project designed to bring to the world the Yahoo phone. Hey, it's working for Amazon and Facebook, and you totally ditch your iPhone for a tricked out Yahoo jobby running Bing Search and Nokia Maps, right? That's it for now and for our debut episode of iMore Today. You can follow me on Twitter at Rene Ritchie. And for more great videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash iMoreVideo. Thanks and good night.